my beautiful soul family and welcome so uh you all know that before we start uh, any reading we're gonna do a mini meditation with the singing bowl so i'm gonna invoke archangel metatron to come through with the universal grid with light love and protection from the holy spirit i will invoke mother gaia to be here to sustain our reading and our healing and to keep us grounded i'm gonna invoke archangel uriel to clear my energy and space and do the same thing for you <clears throat> I will invoke Archangel Raphael to send healing energy to those that want to embrace it. I'm going to invoke Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and the collective. And last but not least, I will invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with intentions. And all you need to do is just take a deep breath in and I'll let it all release and I'll take care of the rest. So let's get started. Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and yours as well. Archangel Raphael to send healing energy to those that want to embrace it, body, mind, and spirit. Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with love, light, peace, harmony, balance, <clears throat> good health, wealth in any shape, way, or form, and protection. And so it is. more peaceful so I'll put this on the sides and I just would like everybody to uh, for a second to embrace um, my mom's love or my mom and I actually sending you uh, a huge uh, hug virtual hug to everybody out there and telling my mom wants to say a big thank you so do I and um, she says that she's going to continue to pray for you three times a day so if there's any messages you want to relate to her just leave them in the comments below and she sends you her love and a big thank you. So uh, I just want to say fast, fast. I want to thank everybody, the new subscribers that are here. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. And uh, for those of you that have been with me for a very long time or recent or halfway through, um, I, a big thank you for all your love and support. And of course, for my community of 27 years, uh, for them having my back. So uh, again, um, it's a great honor to be here with you, for uh, with all of you so that I could share my gift with you. And so now let's get started with your readings. Hi Cancer, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from April 5th to the 11th, 2021. I hope that you're all doing well, my beautiful CMCs. And if you don't know what CMC stands for, it stands for Cosmic Moon Child. So uh, I just wanna say, uh, first of all, uh, I wanna just say to all of you Cancers here personally, I want to say thank you for all your beautiful messages that you have been giving me to my mom. I've been relating to her and every time I put a like and a little heart next to your reading, it's because I'm feeling your energy and I'm just uh, taking in what you're saying to me. Also, always with humbleness and gratefulness as well. And um, I'm really excited to see next week who is going to be coming in on Mondays in the in the contest that we had in the last two weeks, which uh, was... Uh, Whichever sign that wanted to come up first with their element, they had to like the video and also view the video the most. So I'm pretty excited to see who's going to come up first. And I'm very happy to be here with all of you. I hope that you have a great, you have a great start of the week and I do wish you a great week ahead. And now let's get started with your reading. So I hope that you're all doing well, Cancers. How are you doing? And um, let's get started, I guess. Let's look at your affirmation of the week from April 5th to the 11th. You got two cards. <laughs> First one is patience. Patience, Cancer. And it says here, I accept that everything happens in divine order. I accept that everything happens in divine order. I accept that everything happens in divine order. It's all in divine timing. Next card is pride. 
pride. And your affirmation is, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And so it is. Now we're going to look into Gaia Oracle to look at the numerology and see what they store for you from Gaia. So this is for my beautiful CMCs, my beautiful Cancers. Here we go. Cancer. You got four cards. Let's look at them together and with the numerology. Okay. First card you got is a six. The six talks about prosperity. Okay. And uh, from the past till now, some of you are searching, searching for who you are, searching for, just searching. You're in this. You're in the mind. You're in the in the in the time of searching of, about yourself. And so maybe a lot of you are feeling lost at this time. Uh, you're feeling confused and lonely, okay? And what you see, the rays behind the six talks about prosperity. So something is coming to life here for you. The next thing you got is number four, okay? So you got a four, six and four is a ten. There's a new beginning here. The four is about stability and it's also about the angels that are loving you, supporting you and guiding you along the way. And you got the dream. So some of you may be having a dream around this full moon that we had March 28th which was in Libra and you know the effects of this full moon is with us till the next six months and something is going to be revealed to you there's some insight and breakthrough in a situation through a dream or a vision okay next one you got is number 45 which is a nine which is about endings taking place and it's about evolution there's earth changes climate changes and transformation that you're going through with Mother Gaia and last but not least, you got number 37, which equals to a 10, New Beginnings. This is about the Nine of Hearts. It's almost like the Nine of Cups in the Tarot cards. And this is about fulfillment, harmony, and protection along the way. Nine of Hearts. Something is going to be fulfilled here for you. Okay? So let's start your reading. This reading here is for Cancer Sun. And anywhere that you have Cancer in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, claim it 100%. If it doesn't, and let's say you come in and some, you're confused, you don't know if this is your reading or not, then that's why you should look at your ascendant, which is your rising. Look at the moon. The moon is about emotions. Look at Venus. That's about love and finances. And don't forget to look at your north node. Okay. <laughs> I'm having a hard time shuffling the cards here. Okay. That's strange. They're stuck together. <laughs> They're stuck, but not coming in okay <laughs> let's see i'm gonna do that again so i'm gonna show you now where you are what is crossing you what spirit wants you to focus on your recent past what is crowning you and your immediate future and also what is hidden from you and the possible future and then i will clarify the cards in which that spirit wants me to clarify and i'm just going to shuffle it one more time and i think i will be i think the cards are now ready okay Cut the cards in three. And let's get started with the reading. Cancer. My CMCs. Okay, let's look at this together. And I think the energy clearing spray, 
and uh, I'm going to spray some for here, some for you, and of course some for me. And let's get started with your breathing cancers. In uh, the overall energy, you got the elephant reversed. Okay. Spirit's saying a lot. There's, there's a lot of messages here with this card for some of you, okay? Not, not, but now, when I say these messages, it will not resonate with all of you, but it will resonate with some of you. There's a learned lesson here. There's something that's been going on, a pattern in your life. A pattern, uh, something that's been going on, some type of learned lesson that has, has not been learned at this time, okay? Um, and I feel here that uh, what they're saying, a lot of you, is that there's like something that, like a pattern that's been going on for a while, okay? Period. For others of you, this could be a marriage as well, okay? That's not doing well at this time. Uh, it's also about uh, anything that you believed in while you were, since you were a child, growing up, whatever that you believed in, whatever that you know stories you heard i feel that um the labels are removing it's as if like some everything is being removed from you completely to the core and uh you don't know who you are at this time i don't know who that message is here for okay where you are at now you are at the moon card neptune energy 18 9 completions there's a lot of fears in the situation and there's a lot of distortion and illusions around you that you cannot see clearly there's difficulties too, okay? There's difficulties. You're going through a passage. It's like there's a hidden path for you. This is exactly why you're in it. You're in a hidden path and you have to find your own way. But there is something that's going to be revealed. And also it's all about receiving as well, okay? The moon is also, the goddess is about receiving, all right? So what is crossing you with that is the star card. And this is number 17 and the eight. It's an eight. So there's a shift that's going to be taking place from releasing the fears with the star card, it talks about, and it could be an Aquarian, Piscean energy. This talks about something that you wished upon, okay? Cancers is going to be coming true. That's what the card, the star card is. And it's about restoring faith and hope in a situation. What Spirit wants to focus on is this Two of Swords energy. It's about rele releasing or removing the veil from your eyes, seeing things on a different level, seeing beyond the veil of illusion. It's also about opening up that heart chakra of yours and being vulnerable, because there is some type of path that you need to take. In the recent past till now, you got the Emperor Energy. Okay, this talks about stability, success. Uh, it also talks about where uh, control. Okay, so this could be for some of you. Now, this could be for some of you that you uh, are had, you're, you're trying to control the outcome of a situation. Or this could be someone in this type of authority around you. Or it could also mean you're making projects. Okay, in the near future, you're making projects. Uh, in um, in a situation, you're making projects like in a job maybe or in a situation that you're in. Uh, you're making uh, steps towards having everything under control, setting up new rules and new boundaries from the recent past till now. Okay. And what's crowning you is the Seven of Wands reverse. Some of you with the Seven of Wands reverse, you feel, okay, is that you're not going to overcome the situation. There's something that you feel that you're not going to overcome. Uh, or And this or this is you or vice versa. And in the immediate future, you've got the Four of Pentacles. There's someone here that's holding back. Now, in what is supporting you, you got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Some of you are not making plans at this time, okay? You're not making plans. You're in, you're going through uh, some type of process, some type of transformation here. Now, uh, I don't mean, at this point, I'm not seeing anyone coming towards you at this time either, okay? Someone here is unstable in what they're going to be doing next, in what is being hidden from you, you've got the Queen of Swords reversed, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be the sign. But there's someone here, could also this could be you or vice versa. There's someone here that's angry. Okay, someone that here that's not in their element. Someone that is not seeing something clearly. Someone that cut off somebody. Whatever the situation here. And in the hopes and fears, you've got the Page of Pentacles reversed. So the, there's a delay for this, like for this new start of something stable coming in, whether it's money or it's an offer that has to come in or some type of apology. And in the possible future, you've got the Knight of Cups reverse. Someone here is not ready for any emotional experiences this time. They're not able, they're not emotionally stable. They're not able to give love. They need to receive it first, okay? So now we're gonna clarify the cards to see what's going on here for you, okay? So I'm gonna shuffle the cards three times. One, two, three. Okay, now let's look at the elephant together reversed. 
we got the five of wands reversed, the page, the page of wands. You got the queen of cups reversed. The seven of sword, uh, sorry, the seven of, of, of pentacles and uh, you got judgment. Okay, now whatever this thing is for you, okay, whatever it is, this elephant where you're not feeling like you're feeling like you're not believing in things, you released everything, um, okay, uh, or there's some uh, a, a pattern that's not learned here. What I'm being shown is that something is invading from you. All this drama, uh, this uh, frequency of of energy that's been very, uh, I feel like drama or a lot of uh, fiery energy around you or obstacles, okay. It's being removed from you. This is what they're showing me. But this could be you, Cancers, with this Queen of Cups reversed. Or there's someone here that's a, uh, that's a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be that sign. But someone here is not emo emotionally, uh, <laughs> sorry, is not emotionally available. Okay, they're going to, they're not stable in their emotions at this time. They're not able to give love at this time. They're, they're, they're supposed to be working, bringing love to them. And what's being shown to me is that at this time, with the Seven of Pentacles, you're reevaluating everything. And uh, how far you come, maybe in your Pentacles, maybe in your money, and maybe uh, in a relationships or any situation that you've been, and you're going to be at crossroads. But what they're showing me is that with the Page of Wands, there's positive news coming. And you've been seeing the signs about this. You've been seeing the signs, okay? Uh, it's the start of something passionate to to your heart okay and it's like i said there's positive news and there's a judgment here so there is going to be change coming in there's a revelation that's going to take place a resurrection okay within you and the situation and it's about making a judgment on this okay so now let's look at the moon why is the moon here you got the four of wands reversed you got the three of wands reversed and the ten of wands. Wow, energy. Wow, that's heavy energy. So like I said, a lot of you are right now in this Neptune energy of Pisces. Okay, um, at this time, uh, there's a lot of drama in the home. There's not stability in the home. You're not getting, some of you, it's, it's about not getting the proposal that you wanted or some type of, or maybe there's not happy moments in your home at this time. Okay, because there's a lot of fears. There's a lot of distortion, illusions, going through a difficult time. And with the Three of Wands reversed, you're not waiting any longer in a situation. But you also got the Ten of Wands, which you've been carrying a lot on your shoulders, Cancers, okay? In the whole world. Like, you've really been carrying a lot. And it's obstacle over obstacle in a, in a situation that you're in or were in. But the Ten becomes a One. So something will be relieved from you where you need to rest. And this is what you're doing. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo or you are in the hermit stage at this time. Okay, you're in the hermit stage. You are really uh, going within, following your own path, following your own light. You're reflecting, reassessing. Um, and uh, it's uh, maybe you're meditating a lot and uh, you're taking time out from people that you love. Okay, your family and friends. And some of you might be going through the dark night of the soul in this situation. Let's look at the star card and what's crossing you. You got the King of Wands, you got the Magician reversed, you got the Two of Cups, you got the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Swords. So some of you need to remove the veil from your eyes in this situation, okay? Because you got the 22 twice. You got 222 two, two, actually on the ground, 222. Two, two. It's about removing the veil from your eyes and opening the heart chakra of yours, okay? The heart chakra, because some of you are holding back here. Because there is a dream coming true for you, Aquarian energy. Uh, you could be dealing with a, um, you know, uh, Aries, uh, Sagittarius or Leo, or this is you in energy going after what you want. You're going after what you want. Okay. Um, I feel here that um, you're not really at this time manifesting because you're not sure if now this will not be for all of you, but some of you are not manifesting at this time. And this is happening in divine timing because this is universal, right? It's happening in divine timing for you. So a lot of you are not... Um, you're not manifesting at this time because of the energy that you're in. Okay, this is what they're telling me. But what they're being shown to me is with the Two of Cups energy and the Ace of Cups, there is a relationship for you coming in. Two people wanting the same thing. And this talks about your heart opening up to unconditional love. Yes, you will feel very overwhelmed, but you will be at peace. This is a new relationship that's forming in for you here. 
Now let's look at the two of swords. Why is it? This is what spirit wants you to focus on. This two of swords energy. Why is this two of swords here? You got the six of swords reversed. You got the five of pentacles reversed and the hangman reversed. Okay. Simple. Not that simple because a lot of you are in your mind. Okay. And a lot of you are going through a difficult time because it's been really tough for cancers out there. And even the cross watchers, if you're watching for cancers, it's been really tough for them. With the thick six of swords reversed here, it, it shows me that someone here is stuck in some type of difficulty, over analyzing, over analyzing something. There, it's just that you know something has to be removed from the eyes for to see beyond the veil of the situation. Some of you are not able to relocate or move at this time, okay? And what it's showing me is that you're coming full circle, especially if you can't relocate or move because you don't have the money. Okay, you're coming full circle in the place where you felt abandoned, left out, where you felt that you were lacking of. And it's coming full circle. And I feel that what's going to take place is that you're going to be gaining here. Okay, some type of pentacles. Uh, but there's some type of gaining coming in for you. And with the hangman reversed, okay, you're going through where a place where the, it was stagnant at one point, where there was no movement. Uh, there was some type of surrendering. And here, this could be you, my beautiful CMCs, or someone that you're dealing with. That is going through a spiritual awakening where they're going to see clarity. It's, you're going to get clarity in everything. Okay. There's going to be clarity in everything that you wanted to see. Uh, the third eye crown, really clear energy here. Okay. I've seen everything. Beautiful and a spiritual awakening. Now let's look at the emperor in the recent past till now. What's the emperor about? You have the knight of cups. The Three of Pentacles. And the Seven of Cups reversed. Well, some of you are focused in a situation, whether it's job or you just a job. It could be a job, a, a work a situation, or it could be just your life in general with people. Okay, I feel that you're focused. You're grounded in a situation. You know what you want. You're not like... Uh, all over the place and uh there is someone coming in wanting to share love with you wanting to romance or date you or this is you going towards someone and i feel that this is going to be some of you at your workplace that's going to take place here it could be at your workplace or it just means that uh, uh, that there's a strong foundation in the situation and it's where um it's every, everybody's compatible with each other in the situation you're helping each other out now let's look at the seven of wands reversed here and what is crowning you because some of you feel like you cannot make it okay no kidding why why <laughs> because uh, uh what you're feeling is that you're going through a death and rebirth okay and a resurrection here this is about endings in your life that are going to take place with people or situations um and uh it's about going with the flow so there is a huge transformation taking place because all you are going through the dark night of the soul and you really feel like you're dying but you're not dying what it means is that you're just dying whatever that's Old, whatever that needs to be released so new life could start okay scorpion energy here death and rebirth the king of cups so i got the king of cups energy this could be you or someone that is emotionally available coming in able to express themselves i also feel very earth energy also with this person not only water okay and i also see uh, that um the Knight of Wands. In the Italian cards, the Cavalieri, the Bastone, okay, in the Italian, uh, in the way the Italians do the cards, is that there's some type of uh, uh, change of resonance for some of you. For others of you, there's an action taking place here with someone coming in, or this could be you or someone else coming in here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that is emotionally available, able to express themselves, and action taking place. Now, let's look at the Four of Pentacles here in the immediate future. You got the Three of Swords. Okay. You got the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Well, someone is holding back. Why? Because they cannot speak from their heart chakra because there's still mending to do with the heart chakra. The mending is taking place where there is healing that needs to be taking place here. Some of you are being pulled in two different directions. Or, 
or if it's not, it's sorry, because uh, the baby just cried. Um, so, uh, so what I, what's taking place here with the four of pentacles and the three of swords energy is like I said, someone is withholding their information or how they're really feeling with their heart chakra because there's still healing that needs to take place. Some of you are being pulled in two different directions and you're trying to bring something into balance in your life as well. And I feel that there's a need to stay grounded. What I am seeing is that you are going to be receiving some type of gift or money coming in. There's something that's going to be starting here to help you along the way, okay, to reinforce you. Now, let's look at the Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Pentacles, you've got the Ten of Cups energy. You got the Empress and the Emperor. It's nice to see that. You got the Empress. And you got the Eight of Cups. Hmm. Okay. So over here uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, are you walking away from a situation? Cancers. Okay. Or is someone is walking away from a situation where there's no stability coming in? Like someone that's not coming in, that's not bringing any offer here. Uh, someone's walking away to get the Knight. Someone walked away to get the from the Eight of Cups going to the Ten of Cups. And you got it here. Soulmate energy. Okay. This is about being contented, being grateful in your life. There is a soulmate. There is a relationship here. There is two people coming in together. This is true love that's here for you. Are there some of you walking away from it? Maybe this person that's coming in has no stability, has no job, and has no money. Maybe that's a, another thing here. Um, and with the uh, Empress energy, it's uh, there's new opportunities taking place in your life. Okay, new opportunities. Having the minus touch. The Empress lets the Empress manifests and then lets everything come towards her has trust and faith in the universe that it's already there in her life. And this is a like very beautiful energy. It's about pro productivity, creativity, okay, fertile energy. Uh, what I feel here is that are you going to be walking away from this? Okay, or was this from the past that you walked away from something or someone that had no stability? Now, let's look at the Eight of Cups. I just want to ask for one more card for the Eight of Cups energy. And the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Please show me. Yeah, this is something that happened in the past. Where something had brought you down. So you just, the Divine is showing me a story of what something took place with some of you out there. Where there was something karmic that at the end. But you healed it. And you walked away from a situation that was not stable. But now the universe is bringing you this Ten of Cups energy with the Empress. This could be also about fertility for some of you. Now, let's look at the Queen of Swords reversed in what is being hidden from you. You got the Eight of Wands energy. You got Capricorn energy. Cancer. There's Capricorn energy here. Okay, and the Page of Cups reverse. So here, there's someone here that's pretty much angry. Okay, and um, there's inner child healing that really needs to be taken care of. You're in a situation. Uh, someone is not emotionally available at this time. And um, maybe uh, this is uh, you're dealing with a, uh, with a Capricorn. Maybe you're dealing with people or situations that were toxic around you, unhealthy. There's a lot of fears or... Uh, some type of uh, some type of addiction it doesn't have to be like a drug addiction. It could be any type of addiction, um, but there is a breakthrough in a situation. There's a breakthrough from a, maybe someone that you, there was no communication from. Uh, I feel that there's a breakthrough here. Well, there will be communication that's going to be taking place. Now let's look at the Page of Pentacles reversed. Okay, Page of Pentacles. You got the Nine of Pentacles, you're working on yourselves. You got the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Swords. Okay, well, uh, again, the Knight and the Page of Pentacles are reversed because there's no stability in the situation. This could be someone that you're dealing with, someone that you dealt with in the past with. Could be, <clears throat> could be from September 2020. Someone here is not coming in to offer. They're not planning at this time. There's a delay. Okay. But I do see that someone is independent. You're taking care of themselves or, or trying to heal and take care of themselves. With the page of wands and uh, page of swords energy, 
I feel that someone is thinking about you and watching you over social media. Let's say if you had no communication with this person, I feel that they're watching you. Uh, there's a bit of envious because they're angry. They're still like not seeing something clearly. They're not getting the clarity that they need because their heart chakra is <clears throat> broken and closed. <clears throat> but they do care and they are trying to come up with ideas and how to talk to you. Okay, or for others of you, there's some type of creative, uh, creative energy coming in, creative thoughts, creative communication. There's a lot, some type of new start of, uh, of some type of communication. Someone here is going through the dark night of the soul. Maybe you're going through that two cancers still at this time, in and out of it. Okay, you feel like you're done and then you're going back into it. I feel both of you, whatever the situation is, uh, whoever the situation is, there's someone you're going through the dark night of the soul. They're gonna, you guys are gonna be okay because you're gonna come out of it. Okay. Um, the universe is trying to help you here. Uh, there is a breakthrough. And again, uh, it's bringing you a relationship. There is a relationship. If let's say you say, well, I'm single, I'm not seeing, I'm not talking to anybody. Okay. Well, then you're happy in your home life. You're happy in your community and your friends and family. But there is someone coming in here to help you. There is love here in a situation. Now, let's look at the Nine of Cups reversed. You got the Seven of Wands. You got the High Priestess reversed. You got the four of pentacles reversed. And the king of swords upright. Okay. Well, whatever the situation is with this knight of cups reversed, some not someone not coming in, maybe because they're not emotionally available at this time, or this is you. Whatever the situation with the seven of wands, you're gonna overcome it. With the High Priestess reversed, okay, it just says that something will be revealed to you. There is a secret here in the situation. But at the same time, a lot of you are not listening to yourself. You're not going within. You're not understanding your intuition at this time. That's why you're taking time out because you really need to figure this situation out here. But something will be revealed to you. And with the Four Pentacles reversed, there's no holding back any longer. With the King of Swords energy, okay, this is, could be an Aquarius Libra or Gemini. It doesn't have to be. It's about having clarity. It's about, uh, you know, looking at things and seeing things the way they are. A lot of clarity here, uh, removing the fog, a lot of communication. Uh, maybe this is someone that's very intellectual, using their mind more over to their heart. But there's a lot of communication with this individual, okay? And underneath the deck, you got the Nine of Swords. And that talks about that a lot of you are not sleeping in Night Cancers. A lot of you are, are in the fear. You know, there's fear versus love. Love wins. Love is the only emotion and energy that it will overpower any other emotion, okay? So it's about choosing love. Love always wins. Because all of you are not sleeping at night, okay? There's a lot of fears here. Um, you're not sleeping. You're feeling tied. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling bonded, okay? Um, and uh, that's it. So this is your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. <clears throat> you have beautiful things coming for you. There is a relationship here. Whatever this relationship is, a friendship, relationship, uh, whatever it is that's coming in for you, it's here. And there is a breakthrough, okay? And there's a lot of things that you're going through. And I could see that, okay? But do not do not give up, okay? Things are going to get better. So now let's look at the crystals. What are your crystals, Cancers, for this week? Okay, take my glasses. You got three crystal cards. The first one you got is Cry Scola. Start fresh. Start fresh, Cancers. Then you got Tiger's Eye. Overcome your fears. Overcome your fears with Tiger's Eye. And last but not least, you got Lumerian Quartz. Practice patience. Be patient. Things are coming in. Okay. And uh, if you're looking for these type of crystals, uh, underneath the video, there is two websites that you could go on under 10 to 22% off on crystals with my name on it. Anyways, these are the crystals that you will be needing for this week and for as long as you need them. Now, let's look at the sacred geometry. We'll look at more numerology and see what is in store for you. One. 
and two. So the first card you got is number 29. It's a frequency which equals to an 11. And this is the frequency of the 741. So you can go on YouTube and go to Meditative Mind if you like, because that's where I listen to. And this is about expression. This is about expressing yourself with the throat chakra. Wearing lapis lapzuli, okay, as a crystal is also good. Wearing blue, a blue scarf, a blue jacket, a blue sweater. And the next card you got is a master number, which is a nine. Okay, it's about completion. And this is about uh, the phoenix rising from the... The phoenix ri rising from the ashes. That's exactly what's taking place here for you in your life. And this is about take hold, Cancers, because inevitable change is coming for you. Take hold. Now, we're going to look at the Romance Angels with Ask Angels. So, uh, at this time, I ask you if you want to ask your angels. If there's something that I did not answer for you in the reading, uh, you can ask your angels here right now what you need to ask. The angels always come in with 100% uh, accurate Accuracy. They give 100% accuracy when you ask a question. So, let's see. Answers. Okay. Here we go. First, I'll take out the cards from the Romance Angels and put them aside. And then I'll give you the cards from the Angels and see what they have to say. So first card you got is Religious Factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious and upbringing and spiritual path. So maybe some of you have different views. It says also flirts. Extend your light, light art energy to others, Cancers. And this is a past life relationship. You have known each other before. Now, what the angels are saying here, okay? Let me give you. It says here, um, wait. Wait in a situation. Wait. They want you to let go. And have faith. They want you to take action. When? Within the next few weeks. Takes action in the next few weeks. The next Within the next few weeks and taking action. Now we're going to take a card from the universe to see what the universe wants to tell you. You are on your way to meeting your true love. You're on your way in meeting your true love. And I do believe that for you, Cancers. Now we're going to see for Archangel Michael. <clears throat> what prayer is for you? Focus upon divine and perfect health, Cancers. And your prayer is, God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. And so it is. And thank you, Archangel Michael. Now we're going to take last but not least a card from the White Light Oracle where I will read you a passage and give you a healing. And you can come back anytime to hear or watch the healing if you want to. Okay. You got number 23. <coughs> Sorry. throw this dry number 23 which is a five changes are coming and you got beta of spirit wolf so i'm going to show you the cards while i read you the passage give yourself enough rest only then will you be able to ground yourself enough to cultivate focus and motivation to fulfill your path you will find a way through any tricky situation as you tune into your instincts and trust your own timing from times of change and uncertainty comes confidence love and resilience Embrace the transition. Commit to your tasks and stay focused, but be flexible in your approach. 
you have the skill to intuitively handle any issue. Okay, that's beautiful. And the spirit wolf guides us through transition and uncertainty. This is what's taking place. And he, he enhances instinct, intuition, and presence so we can sense and avoid possible sabotage or traps and intended intention in talent uh, and uh, also to uh, uh to be safety fly safely to find our way around them okay so the spirit wolf tunes us into our instincts without creating paranoia or hyper arousal arousal this is the medicine of awareness and engagement that comes from tuning in without fear rather than rather than from defensiveness suspicion and building walls against life Okay, so the message that he brings you is resourcefulness and capacity to meet your needs is greater than you realize. We have it within us to engage in all situations with courage and willingness, and we will always find a way through. And Spirit Wolf thrives in cheerful, playful social bonding with his tribe. There is also a reminder that connection is an essential ingredient to our approach to life. Okay, to experience love, we must be willing to reach out, open up, and run the risk of letting love in, as well as to share it unconditionally without thought for what we can get out of it, which would transform the beautiful gift of love into a multiple ma manipulative tool of ego. Okay, so this is what this is. So now let's do the healing process together. So, um, yeah, so give yourself a refreshing bo body rub. Okay, perhaps start at your scalp and you could start rubbing your scalp, rubbing your head in a way that uh, uh, elevates tension, but is also slightly stimulating. You may like to put slight pressure on top of your head, okay, and at the base of your skull where, there, where it meets the neck and also behind the ears here, okay, and down the jaw, okay, if you want to put a bit of pressure there. Then rub your shoulders, especially where the neck and shoulders meet. So right here, okay, right here. You may then like to make fists and lightly pummel or briskly rub your lower back and hips. Or you could ask someone to do that this for you if you like. If you wish, you can continue with this motion down the length of each leg and soles of your feet. Or you could do this by yourself. When you have completed the self-massage, take some slow, deep breaths and give yourself a chance to ground with gentle, playful moments. Movements. Perhaps a few star jumps or even a quick jog on the spot, depending on what feels good. And this is the prayer that we have to do together. So I will repeat it to you. So the transmission, you just need to repeat it after me. And then say, say, so then at the end you say, so be it. And then I'm going to say one more time to give the transmission. Okay, so I have it. I have it within me to accomplish my soulful tasks with focus and effectiveness. I trust myself to find my way according to my own heart wisdom and with the strength of spirit that keeps me motivated to continue my, to continue on my path while also meeting my needs for rest and replenish, replenishment and so be it i'm going to read it one more time I have it within me to accomplish my soulful tasks with focus and effectiveness. I trust myself to find my way according to my own heart wisdom and with the strength of spirit that keeps me motivated to continue on my path while also meeting my needs for rest and repl replenishment. And so be it. Recognize that you are a creative powerhouse, Cancer, who refuses to be obstructed on your path. Own your determined wolf-like badassery. You have completed your healing process. So my beautiful Cancers, I hope you enjoyed the reading and the healing. Don't forget to share, like, and leave a comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. Everything will be okay. Just keep moving forward. Do not stop. Do not give up. Just stay patient. Remain patient, really, because it's all coming in. All right? It's all shifting, and it's not us anymore. This is the universe that's all delivering and in divine timing, and it will be worth your while. Trust me when I tell you this. 
And remember, love always wins. Love frequency is all there is. Okay? And please take care. See you next week.